Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 44 of chapter 4. The pipe assembly is subjected to 80 Newton force, so we have the magnitude of the force, but not in Cartesian form, we have to find it in Cartesian form. Determine the moment of this force about point B. So we want to find the moment about point B. Moment is a vector and is defined as R cross F. R is the position vector and F would be the force. So because we want to find about point B, our position vector would be from B to where the point where the force is acting. So that would be R B C. So our first task is to find the position vector from B to C. So R B C would be equal to we are going from B to C, we are going 0.55 I uh, negative 0.2 K and I'm using a meter unit that's RBC now we need to find a force F so here if we look at this image that 30 is the angle between our force F and XY plane so the shadow of this force on XY plane is 30 degrees so this line the projection of this force on this line would be 80 cosine 30 so if I write 80 cosine 30, then I have my force in xy plane. So if I write it here, if I want to write on xy plane, call this y and x, and this angle is, uh, this projection would be 80 cosine 30, and now I have the angle here 40. So the y component would be 80 cosine 30 cosine 40 plus positive y and the x component would be 80 cosine 30 sine 40 and the z component we have this angle with the plane so 80 sine 30 towards negative z is towards the opposite of uh, z axis would give us the z component so if i want to write my force s 80 is the magnitude, so I'm going to factor it. So cosine 30, sine 40 will give me the x component. Then cosine 30, we have this cosine 30 whenever we want to decompose it on x and y. Cosine 40 gives me the y component. And for the z component, would be negative sine 30 okay so my force f after simplification would be 44.53i plus 53.07j minus 40k Newton. So I found my force F in Cartesian form and I have my position vector so after that it's just a simple cross product. So M is cross product RF first row IJK second row would be the position vector which would be 0 0.55 0 negative 0.2 and the third row would be my fourth vector 44.53 53.07 and the third component would be negative 40. the result would be 10.6i plus 13.1j plus 29 0.2 K and the unit is Newton meter so the problem is similar to previous problem we are solving R cross F uh, the only difference was that we had to find F in Cartesian form so 80 cosine 30 was the projection of the force F on the plane and then once we have it on the plane that's the 2d problem now if you want to find the X and Y component